Hello everybody, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Flashback mod for Minecraft. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But all you want to do here is go to your search bar and search up mod with like so, and once you enter, you'll see mods.com here. Just click on modern, and now you'll be on the modern homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to the top of the website to discover content, and you want to go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is go on search mods, and you want to type in flashback, like so. Here you'll see flashback here, so just click on the name, and this will bring you to the flashback mod main homepage on Modrinth. So all you want to do is simply go on versions, and from there, you can select what game version you want to play. I'm going to select 1.21.5. And here, we have a release for 1.21.5 for Fabric. So just click the green download button, and from there, what you need is Fabric API. So if we go in the version name here, it says one dependency here, which is Fabric API. We need to have Fabric API to use Flashback Mod. So all you have to do here is just click on Fabric API, and you want to go to versions, now all you want to do is game versions, and just like before, select the same version you did for flashback. So we did 1.21.5, and from there, all you want to do is simply click the green download button for a release like this. So the release, game version, it will always be for fabric, so just do download. And you now have everything you need to run flashback mod, you just need fabric. And to get fabric, you just need to go to a new tab. And you want to go ahead and search up for Fabric Minecraft, like so. Here, once you enter, you'll see Fabric MC.net here. Just click on Fabric, and this will bring you to the Fabric homepage. Now, all you want to do is click the blue download button, and from there, you want to click the download for Windows button. And now you have Fabric Installer. So, all you want to do here is just close your web browser, and then you want to go to your File Explorer to access your downloads folder. Now, all you want to do is double click the fabric installer. This will just bring it a little pop up like this. Here for the Minecraft version, you choose what Minecraft version you did for fabric API and flashback. And once you selected the right version, just do install. Okay, and close. And now you want to go to the Minecraft launcher and with the Minecraft launcher, you will be able to go ahead and add the two mods to the mods folder. So here we have Fabric Loader. So that means all you want to do is go to the Installations tab here. Once you went to Installations, just go ahead and hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Now, all you want to do is find Mods somewhere, and you want to double click it. From there, you want to go to Downloads, you want to select the two mods and copy them, and then you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click Paste. So now, in dot Minecraft mods, we have Fabric API and Flashback. And that means you can go to your Minecraft launcher here, you can go to Play, and then you can go to Fabric Loader and click Play. And you just need to wait for Minecraft to open up, so let us wait for that. Okay. And once Minecraft is here, you'll see a little Flashback menu here. But first off, all you want to do is simply go to a single player world or a multiplayer world. It depends what you want to record, so we'll just go to a single player world and start recording there. And to begin recording, all you want to do is quite simple. You simply want to go to Escape. Here you'll see Start Recording, so just click Start Recording. And you're now recording your steps, so for example, we're walking here. Right? Our game is recording, so let's just go to the water. And once we are here, like so, we can go this way. And we can just do Escape. And now we can do finish recording. And now it will ask us to name it. We can just do save. And we're done. So what we have to do now is just go to the game menu, which just means save and quit to title. And now you see this little flashback menu here. So all you want to do is click it. And here you'll see your gameplay. So you can just go ahead and click that. And this will bring you to this play. So we have a little tutorial here. We'll just do don't show tips here, let's do close, and here we see that we have a player. So, 
What's going on here is that I'm using my mice to look around my player and I'm using the normal game uh, WASD to move around. So for example, very simple tutorial on that one. If I want to record my player, I'll just go behind him for example. There you go. And here I want to add an element which is a camera. Right? So here's a camera. And now we want to add a keyframe. So now first camera is like here. So we have one camera, me looking, and we have a keyframe, which is this picture here. So now we play a bit, well, so we start walking, remember that, we walk to the water. And for example, if, what if I want to go and see him closer? Well, you actually move, you see that we have a camera here, this thing, this yellow and green thing. So we'll go here, and we'll add another keyframe. Well, so now we have our two cameras here, we see a small yellow line, very useful by the way. So now we just do start and we see that we'll keep walking. Now, of course, you can do this way better by adding way more keyframes. Here, I'm just quickly showing you a simple recording, a little editing of that. And we now go here. So I'm gonna go behind him again, like so. Add a keyframe. And now it's gonna stop here. So I'm just gonna quickly go and look forward like this. Up, keyframe. And now let's say that this is the last one. So this will be the last scene and over there will be the first scene. How do we export this? Well, we can do two things. Number one, we can just go ahead and just play around. That's how this looks like. So our video is gonna look like this. Of course, you can put more keyframes and better placement of the camera. But the idea is this, well. So now we are quote unquote replaying what we did, but to actually export this in video form, you want to easily go to file and you want to go to export video. Here, it is going to give us a little menu that we can choose. So we can choose our size, our resolution, our frame rate, what we want here, what we want to do here. There's a lot of things to choose. Of course, there is more settings here. You can like hide player names and stuff. But here, let's just say that everything is good. The bitrate, you can make it higher from better quality. But here we can just do start export. Here it is going to ask us our export location, our downloads folder. Let's just say it's all good. And now we do save. So now it is just rendering everything. We can see that our frames are going through 230 frames. Now, one thing to go with this is that you do need somewhat of a good enough GPU to actually do this quickly. You can do this with a, you know, just a very ent entry card. It'll just take you a long time. So that is one thing with this is that it can take a while depending on what computer you have. This, this is a bit fast. It can go faster. But Let's just say, let's just say, you, know, you finished, you waited a bit, you finished your thing, what do you do? Well, you can just go ahead and check the video. So now it is in our downloads for example, well, and here's our video. So it's 31 megabytes, and that is our video we just got from Minecraft. Isn't this great? Now, of course, there is some little quality thing. This is the bitrate, so you can put the bitrate to like 60k or something. But overall, this is what we got from Flashback Mod. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one. Bye.